thank you very much for joining us all the way from the other side of the world. Can you quickly explain what your office does and how it swung into action with the crisis in the Pacific? Well, as you may know, the Commonwealth it represents 54 countries. Um, that's about one third of the world, 2.4 billion people, and 60% of them are under the age of 30. And of course, New Zealand has been a proud member of the Commonwealth for uh, right from the inception. And what we do is look at the values of the Commonwealth, which really reflect the sustainable development goals. Um, and we are working extremely hard with our Pacific Island members who are faced with a double, if not a triple whammy. Because as you know, we're fighting the COVID uh, pandemic, as well as Hurricane, uh, rather Cyclone Harold, which has really blown through the Pacific in the most terrible way. And the Pacific has faced the existential threat of climate for many years. So we in the Commonwealth have created a Commonwealth Coronavirus Resource Centre to try and get as much information and help and support for all our member states so that we can together make a difference. Do you have people on the ground in the islands, uh, this resource centre in the islands itself? How does it work practically? Well, what is happening now is many of our member states in the Pacific have closed their borders. And in fact, they've been hugely grateful to New Zealand and the work that has been undertaken by Prime Minister Arden, because I think uh, she's made it clear that she understood that New Zealand is a pathway through to the islands and cutting down the virus and the way in which it is spreading is critical to helping to keep the um, members safe in the Pacific Islands. But what we know is that the Pacific has been really uh, troubled by, for so long by the climatic changes that are happening. And so what we've also done in the Commonwealth is we've created a Commonwealth climate finance access hub to try and get the sort of money that our member states really need to be able to mitigate and change and support their resilience efforts. And that's really going well. We've been able to, uh, at the moment, distribute £33.5 million pounds worth of um, uh, aid throughout the whole of the Commonwealth. We've been able to specifically help some of the small island states like Tonga, who has been, who've been trying for years to protect their coastline and have found it very difficult to get the money to do it. 